part one of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. New series, new work smoke or work cove, call it whatever you prefer. One thing is sure, the old one was way more comfortable. A year ago, day by day, I was in the same exact spot, scared, petrified, terrified, unable to speak in front of a camera. And believe me, it's all true because I just rewatched part one of last year season. But today I'm excited, in the same spot, but excited. I'm oh, sorry, I'm more excited than a 15 year old at his first prom. Why? Because I'm starting once again this fantastic adventure and in some minutes I will no more be sad that my uh, private support is completely empty. The big question, will I expand this year? Obviously yes, you already have seen this new section added to my standard uh, private support. But I will not uh, simply expand in uh, width and depth, I will also expand in height and I will try to explain all these to you in just some minutes. Where do I start from? I start as always from my uh, 1.5 cm thick uh, plywood or 0 0.6 inches uh, thick plywood uh, on top of some saw or, or easels and they are the same as last year, you can see there. But I've simply replaced the furniture sliders I added last year because they were ruined by last season and the all the structure was unable to slide smoothly uh, uh, backward frontward and from each side but they simply are some uh, furniture sliders added uh, beneath all the legs of the uh, saw or or easels and as always i've connected them with some zip ties and some someone are still visible uh, down there i don't know uh, if you uh, can watch them, but the structure is the same as last year. Uh, dimensions, correct, I was forgetting dimensions. 180 uh, centimeters by 180 centimeters or 6 feet by 6 feet as last year. And as last year, I've simply added some support brackets in the back right there. Uh, and simply to add um, around 6 more inches in depth or 15-20 centimeters in depth. This section here, this section here is 80 centimeters by 60 centimeters or 31 inches by 24 inches. The thickness is the same. Uh, so this is a new section, the plywood is completely new, uh, not turned by water or anything else. And as you may have figured out, because I've already told you in some of my past videos, starting from uh, last January, I will add a uh, arbor section this year, right there in this spot. These 80 by 60 centimeters will be used to uh, add the arbor section or wharf section if you prefer. Then I told you that I will. Uh, I had the intention to add an ancient Greek part or an ancient Roman part. Yes, I will add it also, but at the opposite side of the um, of the arbor section. My first intention was to add the arbor section right the right there, and then uh, on the back the uh, Greek part here. But I have way the, too much status. To add and not enough space. Here I will add some more structure in some um, weeks in some parts. Uh, where do I start from? I will start from my new uh, cutting table and I've uh, uh, uploaded some uh, tutorial on how I build it and I will start this year. Sorry for the noise guys. I will start with my uh, style of panels, but this year 
I will not start from uh, 3 cm uh, uh, thick panels or uh, 1.2 inches. This year I will go directly start, I will start sorry, directly from uh, 12 cm thick panels or uh, 4.7, 4.72 uh, inches thick panels and as always my panels are uh, 50 centimeters by 100 centimeters or uh, 40 inches by uh, 20 inches okay so uh, let me just uh, switch on my new cutting table and no i don't need that at, uh, at the moment the cutting table because i just uh, need to place some of these uh, panels on the plywood yes guys Let's go, I'm excited as I just told you. Let's go with the first panel. And here we go with the first panel. Then I will try to arrange them as always. Okay, no need for my ruler there, but I will get some more panels. This one. I have loved you quite some time. Okay, this one is a, a little bit damaged on the top. Let me do this. Okay, now. Now I need to cut for the first time this season. No, not really, not true because I have already tested the cutting table. But I will need to cut some more panel to add here and then here. Uh, here I've used, yes, as I told you, some 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches uh, panels. Here I will be using some uh, uh, 3 centimeters uh, styrofoam panels. Um, 1.2 inches. Why? Because I need to have a, a lower um, thickness here because this is supposed to be an upper section. This will be an upper section, sorry. So uh, water cannot flood all over my, uh, my, um, uh, my village. So this will be at a lower level than the rest of the uh, of the village. Okay, so uh, just a little pause here because I haven't bring with me all these big panels. Let me just go and get the other panel, the other 12 centimeters panels and then some 3 centimeters thick panel for this section. Okay, and so this intro will never end and thanks. And I'm back with you guys. Uh, I simply took plenty of styrofoam panels with me and right now they are surrounding me and <laughs> luckily they are not visible from this angle view. What I will need to do, I will need to stabilize those six first panels here and I will use my standard big pins and you have already seen uh, last season that I uh, generally use them massively in all my uh, projects. Uh, then I will uh, cut the remaining uh, part of the panels in order to cover all the plywood surface uh, and I will finish with a 3 cm thick, 1.2 inches thick panel for the arbor section. And then, and then I will go with the, third, with the second story and third level of uh, panels because this year I will proceed this way. And then, and then Let's go, let's go with the action camera because I think that uh, showing you from my point of view is way more shoot suitable for this uh, thing. Uh, see you in just 3, 2, 1, go. So let's go with the pins guys and you are, oh, sorry, I will show you the entire and I will go some more like this and I will show you the pins but you already knew them. Those are the pins that are the pins that I will be uh, using uh, for oops, for um, stabilizing all the panels here. And I will go right now. Uh, I will simply check 
that every panel is uh, perfectly in line with the uh, style with the plywood sorry so let me go there okay first two panel and i will start by doing this here in the middle okay then the same thing in the middle right there thinking about the day that we Okay, here we go with the ruler. Let me check. I will need 30 centimeters as last year. Yes, it's exactly the same as last year. 30 centimeters more panel. I have panels of uh, uh, 50 centimeters. So I will need two panels at least because 30 plus 30 equals 60 centimeters and not 50 centimeters. Two more panels to add here in order to cover uh, the remaining parts of the uh, plywood uh, section. So uh, 30 centimeters by 100 centimeters, uh, two times. And uh, let's go with the uh, cutting uh, table, guys. I have planned it out so carefully. I know the things that Just finish uh, cutting the the, the first uh, 30 centimeters. Let's go and check if it is right. Okay, uh, 30 centimeters. Here I just added more 30 centimeters, and I will go with the pins here. One here. And one there for now. Uh, another panel in order to complete these uh, these first uh, uh, level here. Now I need to cover here. This is eighty. This is 80 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So a panel of uh, 50 centimeters in uh, width will not be enough. Let me go and cover even this surface here. Let's hear some music, guys. preview so plywood there then 12 centimeters and last year i was in this configuration here with my 1.5 centimeters of plywood 0 0.6 inches on top of which i had uh, three centimeters and this is three centimeters guys i can assure you three centimeters of uh, uh, styrofoam 1.2 inches of styrofoam way more comfortable to start with this eight this year nine more centimeters uh, because i start from a higher level and i will go up 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 up, up. okay uh, and oh yes this year i will also add a north pole section a santa section all with my uh, items and figurines from santa's wonderland collection from lemax 
we are not there. We are still 20, 23 weeks away from that moment. But hey, this is the starting point. Okay, I will start from this point and I will go on. So this is the uh, main, the main first level here with the pins and everything else. Let me go with the second level right now. I will try to go up to uh, the third level, right, uh, with this first uh, part. Um, second level, uh, I will uh, need 50 centimeters from this side. 50 centimeters. And I will show you right here or there on the screen each time I'm not converting centimeters in uh, inches. And I will go 50 centimeters here and 50 centimeters here. Then I will go with some more 50 centimeters. And with some more. 50 centimeters because this will be the depth of my first level and let's go with the wood ruler here and let's go with the marking uh, precisely sorry you won't see anything right now but I need to do this then I will do this and I will finish by this, okay? So this line here will be the end of the first level and the start of the second level. Let's add some more uh, styrofoam panels. One, two, three more panels. In the back, I will add one more panel, but in the opposite direction. Let me just go from back here. Why? Simply because here I am left with 50 centimeters, so no need to cut another panel. I will simply go with this panel here, going with 50 centimeters okay okay now let me complete this okay and I will need to check if I have for the moment enough panels because I don't think I have enough panels to complete the third three the first three levels sorry First level, second level, third level, right up there. For now, it's a little too more, too much, sorry, too much straight for me, but I will modify it. I need to start from this point. I want some straight lines this year, then I will modify everything. I will curve, I will modify it once I will get on with the work. But I will start with uh, straight lines for the moment. Then I will chop here and there. Uh, some more panels. <laughs> I've just posed for some minutes, guys. Uh, new season. I'm still uh, a little rusty. Sorry. So I was uh, completely uh, stupid. I was completely stupid in having used a complete good panel for the, the back there. I will not use all the surface this year, so let me just uh, go this way. I will remove this one for the moment. Then I will also remove this one. And this one is a complete waste of good panel. Let me go this way. And I have some spare cuts from this panel here. 
Remember that I've used two panels to do this uh, last uh, uh, section on order, in order to cover the, uh, all the plywood surface. So I will have the 20 more centimeters remaining from this side uh, of, of two panels. One is here, so I have here a good 20 centimeters, and uh, this is way better than last year because uh, 12 centimeters thick uh, styrofoam panels are way more resistant than three, in three centimeters uh, thick panels. So even if I have this gap here, I don't risk anything at all. Let me just fix this piece here. 12 centimeters on top of here, but I have, this is a, some sort of bridge there. I don't care. I don't want to waste some good uh, panels. So I will fix this here and then one more. here I think and one more here okay then I can go this way and it still resists every a wave I put on top of it here I'm pushing right in the middle but 12 centimeters are way over resistant than last year panels so this is good I haven't wasted a good panel second panel here then I will use my pins and I have one panel left now I've been smarter than before is there a way to be way more smarter? Let's check. Let me remove this panel here. Once again, let me remove one, oops, one and two panels here, remove it. Okay, let me go. Not this direction, but the opposite direction. One here. And one here. It is way too long, but hey, I have used two panels instead or of four panels so I'm thinking with you right now okay so I will need to go 50 plus 30 because this is sorry guys this is 50 centimeters then I have 30 more centimeters 80 centimeters each panel is 100 centimeters so let me just cut some 20 centimeters from this panel here. I have spared more panels. Now I have some spare panels. All right. I will use them as a support. I will use them as support for the remaining part there. So I will start by putting it right here.
Good. I will fix this with some pin. Okay. This will be the frontier. Here for the third level. This one here, okay, I have this one here, that is the, the other spare parts, and I will go by cutting this one. I need, uh, I will need, I will need, I will need. Eighty centimeters, okay. Eighty centimeters. This one is a uh, hundred centimeters. So let me remove twenty centimeters. Okay, and you can appreciate that uh, this year the cut is way more smooth than last year with the new cutting machine. The new cutting table, I will place this other one here. Okay. Pins there, there. There. there and there okay now uh, you can understand that if i use the one panel there i will continue using one more panel there and one more panel so one two Three more panels, 50, 100, 130. Okay, so I will use a two panel, and this panel is no more than 30 centimeters. So uh, let me just uh, cut one other panel with simply 30 centimeters in order to have the support for the remaining panels. I will 20 centimeters here. I'm not going with this one, I prefer to go with this other one. Twenty centimeters. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Baby, it's your birthday. Now you don't have to wait no more. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Let me go with the support here. This will be the support there. Here we go. And this will be the last part here. Okay. Let's have a look from the distance. First level, zoom, 50 centimeters. Second level, up, 50 centimeters. Third level, up, I have 100 centimeters, but I still need to add one or maybe 
two levels. Okay, is it all for now, guys? No, no. <laughs> you know that I am very long with my videos. So, my train. I cannot have a Christmas village without my train. Where will I put? Oh, guys, uh, I, I haven't shown you, but I have here one more panel here. One more panel here, and I have still three more spare panels stored somewhere in that direction. Okay, so I've spared three panels that will be useful in order to get over with the fourth and fifth level, but I already knew that uh, mm, I had to buy maybe some more 12 uh, centimeter panels in future, but not right now. The train. I've always used the train going uh, here, there, up, down, etc. This year, I want the train, but I want every single one of the wagons of the cars to be visible, plus the loco, of course, and the locomotive, of course. So my train this year will just go through the third level. Right not climbing anything, but just uh, on a um, flat surface, on flat dirt level. And all along here, let me use it, this, all along here will go the uh, main view of the train here, of the railroad. Then, oh, so what I will need, I will need to use a simply oval. I will do an oval here. Then the first part will be visible here with the train here, very visible all along this part here. Then some, uh, some tracks will be un under the, third, the fourth or fifth level. I, I want my train, but I don't want to be slave this year of the tracks. And especially because these kind of trains are beautiful are in scale with everything, as I told you some months ago. But they are not suited for uh, climbing uh, hills, for climbing mountains, for going up, up, up a steep level. So I will not use some uh, climbing uh, railroads this year. I will go with a flat railroad. But it will give the, all the um, village, all the project, a good, uh, a good vibration because for the first year after three, I think three or four years, all my wagons will be visible. So I will end this video with installing, by, by installing, sorry, the tracks there. And then I will close with some more things uh, a little preview for part two. So let me just take what I need to uh, build the tracks. And I'm ready for the tracks, guys, for the train tracks. This is one of the two, three, maybe four things I planned. So you can see it. I have just printed it Saturday, July. I don't know if you can see it, maybe going there. So I hope that the camera will be on focus. Saturday, July 3, 2021, 5.52 p.m. Uh, I just printed it. Uh, and uh, so uh, what's now? I planned to go first level here, second level here. And I will explain with the with the outro maybe some minutes before the outro why i don't want to have the tracks in the first and the second level but first level 50 centimeters here 50 centimeters another 50 centimeters here and then the oval here on the third level here visible just from maybe this point to this point here, from this point to this point, everything else will be hidden under the fourth and fifth level. So what I will need, starting from this point here, I will need one, two, three, four, five, six uh, uh, R2 uh, curved section, then six more here, then one, two, three, four, 
plus 4, 8 straight G200, 231 section. So here I have the Pico, uh, Pico uh, um, trucks here, and this is a G231, G231. I don't know if I can show you, but here it is G231, no two. I can't show you. I don't know. Maybe you can see. And then I have some R2 uh, covered trucks here. These, those are R2. So I will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 R2. 12 R2. Let's have 12 R2. And then 8 straight. No, 7 straight. Because I will need this straight section here. That uh, is the way I'm connecting the AC adapter to the uh, train tracks okay so i will go three and three six and i will start here okay and i will go this way no i will prepare everything so six and then i will not use the uh, the um, action camera positioned right here from my point of view because the third level is way too elevated and you won't see anything if I'm using so I will use a tripod for my action camera one two three four five and six then some eight straight no seven sorry seven r2 section so a 12 r2 covered section and one two three four five six seven straight uh, section so let me pause the um the camera right now and let me take my tripod hey guys i'm here and still alive uh, ready to start building the oval with the train tracks and i simply hope to be on focus right now so let's start oh sorry some music thanks
if I'm exaggerating a little bit there, but I want to test if it works with my Loco, my Bumblebee, the Tender and the combined car that I haven't seen rolling on the tracks for about three years. Three years ago, last time, I seen the combined cars rolling on the tracks. So, let's check if it works. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, guys, it works. No problems. Okay, sorry, maybe I'm a stupid boy right now. I'm uh, 12 years old, but uh, I needed to check if it works. And as I told you before, on flat surface, this train is stopped. On flat surface only. And it couldn't go even faster. Okay. So, I'm uh, stopping it right now, maybe in front of you, I don't know. Okay, so... Okay guys, I think I'm done with the first part. Maybe not really. I just wanted to show you some preview for part 2 of this new 2021 series. So, and also, I don't think you will see my train for some weeks from now on because I tested it works. I will not modify anything on the tracks, but I need to work on some other serious things. This is not done, but as always, all the tasks need to be started and then finished one by one when when it's time to complete them. So now I will leave this, this task open, sorry. So just one second and I will be doing the outro. And the finally my outro guys, the first outro of 2021 new series. You are certainly wondering why is he showing us a stairs from last year project? Well, because next part, part two, will be focused on building a twin stairs. <laughs> what is a twin stair? A twin stair is a stair allowing people to climb from this side and from this other side. These kind of stairs are certainly very effective and they take no space at all, allowing going very easily and very uh, simply from one level to the next level, but they are also very, very, very ugly. They are not elegant at all. But this year I need something special. And for the first time in history, I will be closing this uh, uh, first part of 2021 season, moving away from my preferred spot right there. If I intend to do an arbor section, a work section right here, I also intend to do, to make, to build an ancient Greek part here on the opposite corner. It will be a very long section and it will be elegant. So I will not use this kind of stairs. I will build a twin stair. And the ancient part will take the first level and the second level. Very, very, very long, very difficult. I don't know yet if I can achieve it, uh, how I want to achieve it, but hey, I'm trying to do something new every year, so I will do it. And, of course, I forgot to tell you, also some water features will be added, maybe two or three water features this year on this project, this new project, but not a river or um, um, a waterfall like last season simply because it will take too much space. <laughs> this section here, the twin stair section, the ancient park section will take an enormous part of the uh, av available space. So I need to go up 
and do more levels this year in order to add all the headings I want and everything else. But I will carve here and there something more. I will try to modify because right now I agree, I agree with you, it is too straight. Not enough curves, not enough rounded corners. I will get there, surely, in the next uh, weeks. Hey, this is part one. I still have 20, 22, 23 more parts to do. So, as always, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.